Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Restaurant Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, what we are going to do is that when someone click on this view food option, it will take us to another page and then it will show the admin all the food that we have in the food table. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our resource, then views, inside views, we have the admin folder. And inside the admin folder, uh, here you can see sidebar.blade.php. So here in the sidebar.blade.php, here you can see view food. So here, first of all, we need to create a, or we need to give a route name here. So we'll give to second bracket. Then we're going to say here URL to first bracket. Then we'll give to single quotation like this. And here inside this, we need to give a name. Let's say the name will be view underscore food. So right now we need to create a route for this. So for it, let's go to our routes, then web.php. And here I'm just going to copy this route, control C, then control K. So the route will be get and the route name will be view underscore foo. We will use the admin controller and let's say the function name will be the same. It will be view underscore four. So here you can see this view underscore four is basically this one. Okay. So right now we need to go to our admin controller and create this function. So let's go to our app HTTP controllers and here you can see admin controller. So let me just go down and here we need to write a function. Let's say public function. The function name will be view underscore four. Then to first bracket then to second bracket so from here we are just going to return a simple view let's say here return view then the view name will be admin dot let's say show underscore food and we need to end this with a saving clone so right now we need to create show underscore food dot grade dot php in the admin folder so here you can see admin folder so i'll just right click then click on new file and we're going to say here show underscore Food.blade.php. Press enter. And here you can see it created a show underscore food.blade.php here. So for now, let's just say here simple HTML. And in the body, we're going to say age on all food. So right now, what will happen is that whenever someone click on view food, it will call this URL, which is this one. This URL will call the admin controller p underscore food function. And our v underscore food function will return us to this view admin dot show food, which is this one. So right now, if we just go back to the browser, then refresh here, then click on this arrow, then click on view food. There you can see it says all food. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to have the navbar and sidebar on this page. So for it, let's go back to the code and we'll go to our index.blade.php and I'm going to copy everything from here, control A, control C. Then we'll go to our show underscore food.blade.php and we're going to paste whatever we just copied from the index.blade.php. So control V. So from here, we're going to remove this include admin.body. Except this, we're going to keep everything else. So if we now set then refresh here, uh, then click on food, then click on view food. There you can see it will take us to this URL v underscore food and there you can see it is empty. So first of all, we're going to create a table design here to show the food details. So here you can see for the food, we have titan, return price and the food image. So let's go back and we're going to Create a table. Let me just have a div here. So let me say here div. So inside this div, we are going to have a table. So for it, what we are going to do is we, we are going to mention the table tag here. So inside the table tag, we are going to have the table row first. So we'll say here tr. So inside the tr, we have the table header. Let me just remove this comma from here. And we are going to have, let's say, or uh, let me just count it over here. We're going to have one, two, three, four column. Let's send. So I'll copy this and paste it here three times. So the first one will be food title. Let's say here food title. 
The second one will be for details. Let's just say here details. Then we're going to say here price. And the last one will be image. Let's say here image and uh, over here let's just have a H on tag. Let's say here all quotes. And after this tier tag, this is for the table header. So we are going to mention another tier here. So we are going to say here tier. And in this tier, we are going to have the table data. So we say here TD. So let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it three times. For now, let's just say here simple ABCD. Let's say ABC, ABC, ABC and ABC. The standard text. If we now save this, then refresh here. They can see it will look like this, but obviously this doesn't look like a table. So we're going to make it look like a table. For it, we're going to make some simple design. So first of all, we're going to write some CSS for the table tag. For it, let's go at the top and here inside the head section, we're going to say here style. In the style, we're going to mention the table tag. Then to second bracket, we're going to say border. It will be on page solid type blue. If we now send this, then refresh here. There you can see there is a border right now. So we're going to make some design for the table header and table data. So that is really simple. Here you can see we have the TH tag and the TD tag. So first here, let's say TH, then to second bracket, we're going to say for the table header, background color, it will be sky blue. The text color will be white. So we we'll say here white. And let's also add some padding. Padding will be 10 px. And margin, it will be 10 px as well. If we now save this, then refresh here. Then I guess it will look like this. So we are going to make some simple design for the table data. So let me just say here TD to second bracket. We are going to say here text color. It will be white. And let's just say here padding. It will be 10 px. And let me just do one more thing that is in the table tag. We're going to say here margin, it will be upper. If we now save it, then if we now refresh here, there you can see the table is in the center and the text color is white for the table data. Let's mention the table width. I think that will be better. Let's say win for the table will be 800 pixel. Save, then refresh. And there you go. So here you are seeing some data. This is just a static data. So we're going to get the data from the database table. So for it, what we are going to do is uh, we'll go to our admin controller. And here you can see from here we are returning this view. So in this return view, we're going to also send the food data from the food table. So for it, first of all, we need to mention the food model name at the top of our controller, which we already did. Here you can see use app backslash model backslash food. So after that, we're going to declare a variable. Let's say dollar data. You can declare any variable equal to, we're going to mention the model name, which is food, double clone, all. So how it will happen is that it will get all the data from the food table and store it in this dollar data variable. So after that, we are going to say here compact, then to first bracket. And inside this, we are going to mention this data. So we are going to say here data, only data, not a dollar sign. Okay. So right now, using this dollar data, we'll be able to show all the food data from the food table to this page, uh, showfood.blade.php over here. So here, uh, mom the TD, I'm just going to remove those ABC. And after that, here we are going to mention a for each loop. So we say here at the end of for each, then to first bracket. After that, we are going to mention this dollar data over here. We say this for each. So we say here dollar data as dollar data. 
and this for each loop will end after this t attack. So here we are going to say at the end of int for each. Right now using this dollar data we will be able to show the data from the database table uh, from here. As you can see for the first time we write over here title, then detail, then price, then image. So here uh, in order to print something in Laravel we need to give to second bracket. Then inside this we are going to mention this dollar data. So we say dollar data. Then this arrow sign and we need to mention the column name. And here you can see the column name is title. So we are going to say here title. And the same way we can get the detail price and image. So let me just copy this. And I am going to paste it here, here and here. So after title we have details. So we are going to say here detail. In the database table we write the column name like this. After details we have the price then we have the image. So if we just write the image like this. Uh, if we just write the image it will only print the image name not the image. But let me just show you. If I now just save it. Uh, then if we just refresh here. There you can see it is showing us the food title details price and also the image name but we want to show the image so how can we do it that is really simple let me just cut this from here and we're going to mention the image tag we'll mention the image tag and in the source we need to mention the folder where we store our image and we store our image in the public uh, food underscore image folder so we are going to say here food underscore img then we need to give a slash then we'll give two second bracket dollar data image and let me also mention the width for the image. Let's say that width will be, it will be, uh, let's say, on 50 bx. Let's just say on 50. If we now save it, then refresh here. There you can see it is showing us the image, the price, the details, and the full title. So this is how you can display data from the database table in Laravel. I hope this was easy for you to follow. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.